Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this video, we are going to discuss about direct second year admission process. Also, I will going to tell you about all the important dates and steps for direct second year admission. So, let's start. The direct second year uh, engineering admission 23 to 24 Maharashtra for BE, BTEC courses is done via the common admission process, which is CAP counseling. All the candidates who have their names on the merit list will have to attend the CAP process where the seats will be uh, allotted for admission. The seats allocation will be done based on the merit number allotted to the candidate in the merit list. Uh, DAC admission 23 CAP counseling will go through various stages. The candidate must attend all the stages of the CAP process for admission. So to be eligible first thing is the candidate should be an Indian national and second is you should have uh, successfully completed a polytechnic diploma engineering course or an equivalent degree from a recognized institute on a full-time basis next criteria is uh, a minimum aggregate of 45 percent is required throughout uh, your three-year diploma course or graduation while the eligibility criteria may vary among different colleges, it is uh, common for many institutions to set a minimum eligibility requirement of 45% aggregate marks for the general category and 40% for uh, reserve category. However, it is important to note that uh, these percentages are general guidelines and uh, specific colleges may have their own variation or additional criteria. It is advisable to refer to the specific eligibility requirement of the college you are interested in. All the candidates who wish to take uh, direct second year engineering admission have to register online for the admission process. Only the candidates who have registered for the uh, admission are applicable to for attending the CAP counseling. The candidates will also have to pay a counseling fee at the time of registration for the counseling which will be non-refundable. And the candidates should apply online on uh, www.mahaset.org as per uh, schedule. And candidates are required to pay fee through credit card, debit card, net banking, UPI, etc. And no other mode of uh, payment shall be uh, permitted. So for general category candidates have to pay 800 and reserve category candidates have to pay uh, 600 rupees. Now let's see the activities and schedule dates for direct second year admission 23 to 24. So first one is online registration of application and uploading of required documents by the candidate for admission on website. So its starting date is 13 July and end date is 22nd July. In this stage the candidate will have to register for the Maharashtra direct second year engineering admission 2023 by filling out the application form online. Along with the filling out the registration form the candidates will have to pay an application fee to complete the registration. Next is documents verification and confirmation of application form for admission by online mode. So in this stage students have to verify the document through online or, or they can also visit FC center for their document verification. So for this uh, uh, starting date is 13 July and end date is 23rd July. Next stage is the admission department will release the provisional merit list for all the qualifying candidates on the official website. So for this. Um, Date for displaying provisional merit list is 25th July. The candidate can also submit the uh, grievance if there has been some modification in their uh, qualifying exam scores. So for modification you can submit it from 26th July till 28th July. And after checking all the grievances uh, the final merit list will be released. No changes will be made uh, to the final merit list. So final merit list will be display on uh, 30th, uh, 30th July. In the next step, the admission department will release the category wise seat matrix before each cap round. 
so the seat matrix will uh, constitute the courses and seat intake for all the categories of the candidate so the seat matrix will be useful to the candidates for filling out the online option form in the next step so provisional category wise seat will also display on uh, 30th july next stage will be online option form filling and confirmation so the candidate will have to fill out the uh, online option form for the choice of courses and colleges in which they wish to get seats through uh, maharashtra direct second year engineering admission the final seat allotment will be done based on the option filled by the candidates so the candidates can make up to 300 choices it is also important for the candidates to submit their choices in the order of uh, priority so priority college uh, add to first position and so on before the last date the candidate must submit their option form for or uh, it will be automatically submitted as per the last details filled so candidate can fill this form from uh, 31st july till 2nd august after that provisional allotment of cap round will displayed on um, will be displayed on 5th august so after provisional allotment next step is accepting to the offered seat by candidate through his or her uh, login as per allotment of cap round 1 so you can accept the offered seat from uh, 6th august to 8th august here the seats will be allotted as per the options filled through cap uh, cap around me uh, the seats allocated to the candidates as per the priority will be automatically frozen such candidate will have to further visit the arc to accept their seats and they can participate in future rounds and uh, the candidates who have not been allotted the seats as per their first preference but are still satisfied with the allotment will have to freeze their seats and visit the arc for seat acceptance and the candidates who have uh, not been allotted seats as per their first preferences first preference and who have accepted the seats at uh, arc will be allowed to attend further cap rounds for the betterments of seats and the candidate who have not been allotted seats as per their first preference and who have uh, not accepted the seats uh, at arc will be allowed to attend further cap rounds next stage is uh, reporting and seat acceptance so the candidate who have been allotted seats will have to visit the arc and accept their seats only after uh, accepting the seats at uh, arc the candidates will be reported to the respective institute for admission so finally the candidate will have to report to the institute and pay the admission fee to complete their admission so the date for reporting and seat acceptance is starting from 6 august till 8 august and if you guys don't accept the seat in the first round then you have to go through the cap 2 round and cap 3 so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos